gigantic shields. Targeting adjustments. Dark mystery. What kind of mystery? You'll find out soon enough. In the meantime... Sir Bedivere was a knight and the strongest of men. He was one of the earliest characters mentioned in the King Arthur saga. And where the knights of the round table appear, mighty shields appear as well. Bedivere is a titan that uses a special white absorber shield. It doesn't completely surround the titan, but makes your offensives together with your allies more effective. It also increases Bedivere's durability by absorbing damage. But who would want to attack a shielded titan? In Bedivere's case, the opponent won't have much choice. After all, Bedivere's second ability allows you to pick an opponent and challenge them to a duel. This will make them unable to attack anyone but Bedivere. Bedivere's pilot is the epitome of military honor. Tashiri Kurosawa will increase Bedivere's strength, shield duration and effectiveness. The burning times have come. The new flamethrowers are designed to complete Bedivere's build. Inferno and Pyro have new overheating mechanics, so keep an eye on the hit and ease off the attack button sometimes. Otherwise, the weapons will overheat and you will have to wait for them to cool down completely. Let's continue the story of the Knights of the Round Table. Every knight needs his own castle. Bedwear's castle will be Avalon. The main turret of this defense ship isn't just great at restoring your durability and great damage. It also removes the negative effects of rust, blind, EMP, lockdown and suppression. Your robot will also get a few stacks of the cleanse effect. Cleanse stacks will be removed if you get more negative effects from the same list. This ship will pull you right out of hot water and make sure you never get into it again. While Aumin conquers the skies of war robots, its little brother Aujun is also getting a new version. Ultimate Aujun has more durability and stealth on takeoff and landing. Its built-in flamethrower is also more powerful, with an increased AoE and an accumulating blast effect on the enemy. We haven't forgotten about the classic Calamity build either. Ultimate versions have increased damage, cooldown speed and don't need lock-on before attacking. Speaking of locking on… The long-awaited targeting improvements have made their way to the main server. You can now choose the targeting reticle priorities in the settings. For instance, you can prioritize a target that is closer to the crosshairs. Or a target that's attacking you. You can experiment and choose what works best for you. We are very interested in what you think of this change. Tell us about it in the comments. Shen Lo's new pilot loves solving mysteries. Hugo Booker's special skill increases Shen Lo's damage every time it teleports, but only until the ability duration ends. Complete the image of the private detective with special versions of Shen Lo, Lei Ming and Feng Bao. So, what's the mystery inside this update? Unique new quests will be added in addition to the regular quest chain. Completing it will require special skills, not always related to your gaming skills. Subscribe to our social media pages to learn more. And team up with other players to solve the mystery. And just like last time, we are giving you a little bonus. Use this code on our website to claim it. Let all things secret come true. And see ya on the battlefield, commanders!